Birds of paradise, a year in the making, but taking only minutes to destroy. Blake Twigden is a world-renowned wildlife artist and has spent the past year pouring his life into creating these oil paintings on silver leaf, worth tens of thousands of dollars, now burning them at the stake to send the ultimate environmental message. It would take a, a specific life to um, be able to create such a situation that I've just achieved, which is burning a, a, a classic collection of um, beautiful works of art with a message to the population of the world, just look after our planet, don't destroy it like I've just destroyed my collection. Twigden has been painting for 43 years and exhibited in the UK, Australia and New Zealand. His first anti-pollution message was in his 1971 Sydney exhibition, but he says he's doing it again because nothing has changed. The irony of creating more pollution to draw attention to his message not lost on the artist. The symbolism is that it, I have to use a negative result from the burning to show that that's what we're doing to the planet, so it's really using a negative in a positive way. Twigden estimates the financial cost of his sacrifice is in the tens of thousands, but he says it doesn't compare to the harm being inflicted on the environment. He plans to burn another series of his work in Sydney in October. Caitlin McGee, Prime News. That was the conclusion of a journey that started nearly 40 years ago. In 1971, a passionate young wildlife painter, Blake Twigden, held his first exhibition in Sydney, Australia. The theme was Consider Our Heritage. At the time, awareness of what is now considered a very real threat to our natural world was very low. With hindsight, Blake's understanding of the problems creating this threat and his desire to raise awareness can only be described as visionary. Although his message was regarded as genuinely sincere, the Sydney Morning Herald art critic questioned his attempt at influencing society's behaviour through art. In his lifetime, Blake has been lucky to spend nearly 40 years exploring the planet, witnessing some of the most spectacular examples of animals and habitats that the natural world has to offer. Now living back in New Zealand, he has created a beautiful tropical garden just south of Auckland. A stunning collection of exotic plants, birds, fish and reptiles. It has become an admired sanctuary and haven. Open all year round, the garden is very popular with members of the public. Through his painting, Blake has brought to life many examples of these plants and animals in exhibitions to buyers and art collectors around the world. In his work, he has continued to reflect his reverence for the beauty and wonder of these creatures and their environments. Since 1971, Blake has consistently expressed his desire for man to preserve the planet's natural wonder and diversity. Clear in his belief that the future of life on Earth depends on our ability to take action. Like Blake, many individuals are doing what they can, but real change can only come if there is a change in our societies, in our economics and in our politics. In protest, he has painted 12 of the most spectacular inhabitants of New Guinea, the stunning birds of paradise.
He has sacrificed their images to reflect where mankind is going with his relentless destruction. As surely as the flames consume these fragile images, man is destroying the subject of them. We as a species may well survive, come what may, but it could also be that unless we change, we will be condemning generations to come to live in a poorer and impoverished world. We have a responsibility to leave a planet to future generations that is healthy and inhabitable by all species. <laughs>